Sigmar, World or Sigmar, where only one with dude, the ball dude. He's dead. He's that one. And of course, Rise Grenade Bodyguard alongside General. I forgot his name. And of course, Blood as Steel. And they are also that. Knights and Carmine, heavy cavalry units, counting 61. Great to kill. Well, with them. At against them. So, attack. Oh my god. Let the music begin. As you can see, the AI moves towards us. For unknown reasons, I'm attacking them, but they are moving towards us. As you can see, the spray information is east on gorge with spears. You have four tally-ho dudes and dudettes with horns going towards us. Behind them, gorge, chief guards and all other beasts of beast dudes and dudettes of their tribe, whatever. Beastie gorge, these bastards are heavy. They give a nice punch to the punchline. Everybody will start shooting. And of course, we have three more units on to the right, and I'm guessing three more units on the left. They're using standard formation kill to be killed. Alongside my ally coming from the backside here, hoping to get under their leader, Chief Guards. These big hair dudes, no rock and roll. And aim and fire. As you can see here, awesome stuff. Let's make them cry. Forward, using our Knights and Combine. We're gonna hit the meat to the chieftain if my ally does not. Ally aggressive stance. We'll ally allow it like that. Attack. We are having the visual up on the enemy. They ain't gonna do much. This is the waypoints as you can see. The only guys that don't have, as you can see, enable skirmish are the handgunners. So I have to manually tell them get the fuck out of there. They're changing position because the composition of my allies moving badly. Okay, let's see a little belly. I don't care much about my ally to be honest, even though they are my units. So they are now in. Uh, they don't know what the hell to do. And you can see their flag here that I really want is their general. If I could. I want to have a nice opinion about these beasts, but I do not. Let's move our shooting dudes out of there. Support. Please attack. Excellent. Now my anchor mine are being attacked by a chief guard, and that's about it. But we're gonna attack them, and here, here we go, here we go, we're moving beautifully into them, <laughs> and we're, they're dead, they're dead. If chief dies, that's, that's it. They got nothing on us. Here they are fighting against crossbowmen, which is a funny thing here. Who died? Enemy general fall. Okay. All good stuff. Well, 
all good stuff as usual we're just gonna rush everything we see around here Adding a little bit. Yeah, let's fight. Enemy general full, enemy general full. How many generals were there? What, this entire force would compromise of gen generals? <laughs> enemy beastmen generals? Up close fighting here. It was a nice experience for our troops. Wow, my general is actually still fighting here. Come back, against one chief guard. Unbelievable. Oh, this guy's no stuff. Now let's kill the rest of their army that is routing. We have all those chasing one of the left side here what are they chasing Ungors, beastmen chief guard okay chief guards here we have a retreating chief guard excellent excellent let's use this at the best okay excellent now we're gonna make a sandwich out here alongside my ally which is holding a with empire crossbow and two units and one hand gunners actually excellent Continue victory. Continue the victory. <laughs> victory is just to kill everything else we see. Not allow any enemy units to escape. My ally general was still alive. Strangely enough, wow. A few units. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna end here, guys, and just st stat screen after this. <laughs> and clear victory, guys. Wilhelm Giscard, that's the general's name. We're gonna re start remembering this guy because he is the next, hopefully, next Kurt. 2,146 men deployed, 81 lost, 2,065 remaining. Maximilian, mercenary captain, 450 deployed, 206 lost, 164 dead. Oh, sorry, remaining. <laughs> Beastman High Chief Oglin, 2264 deployed, 2182 lost, 82 remaining. Okay, done. Fight for Middenstag is over, and faction has been destroyed. So, settlement besiege, defended. And turn faction announcements. Okay. Recruitment report. Excellent. Advisor report. Excellent. Trade increase under Wilhelm Gesker. Plus two command. Excellent. Plus three to loyalty. Beautiful. I love loyal people. And faction destroyed beastmen yet again. Demolished by us. Beaten stag, well, they lost. It's like good they didn't lose the general Maximilian. He's a god dog. Paved road, excellent. Irrigation, excellent. Vast graveyard, small dogs of war camp, yes, why not? Excellent, everything is good. To be honest, I'm impressed with my allies that have helped us off for quite a bit. Helped me a lot, and this is how much remains 16 turns guys. We're getting very close to the end Let's see how this goes And now I don't know what to do with my Kurt the mighty I should I yeah, I will actually send him here To attack this bastard because we're awesome. We're gonna attack him again. We're gonna go automatically resolve. They're dead Execute Excellent trade increase Enemy, enemy, Nothing yeah, excellent. In my way. Now, 
could be the Lord of the End Time is hidden somewhere around here. I want to find the bastard. It would be very awesome if actually I'd find only him <laughs> and we kill him and the end is there. And I will be awesome. Good mighty, gnome education. Wow. Plus the command of storming the fortification, plus one to piety, and plus 50 points to build siege weapons. This guy is enormous. He should be the next faction leader. He is the family member, by the way. So he might become the next faction leader if the sun dies. Maybe. So, yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah, here it's still the Westland. He's fighting the dwarves. And dwarves, Karak Zeflin is not lost. As you can see here uh, but they're not doing anything anymore I mean they're just going around fighting dwarves I, st I think I just uh, did see one dwarf king I think there is only one <laughs> moving around at the big lake here I don't know what the lake name is geography of this place has been found I, uh, uh, Okay, Karakvar. Okay, so yeah, that's about it for this turn. Uh, see you next turn, guys. See you next turn. <coughs> and welcome back, guys, to the 92nd turn. Starvation. This year, the entire harvest was destroyed by foul weather. Expect riots. Neat. End of turn, we are good with money, good with everything actually. This can be changed very fast. So as it stands now, chaos has been... Well, almost defeated. Delbrez is hold here. If I could actually send another... No, I can't. Not yet. Next crusade upon the Alvarez and they are totally destroyed. At least in this part. I can't see them anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I could actually defeat these guys. The thing about the beastmen, they have numbers in the end. We have equipment and manpower. They have. I can't add it. Shit. Oh well, we can do two attack here. Excellent. Yeah, we'll actually attack the underguard and take it over before they regroup again. Kurt the Mighty. I don't know what to do with this dude. To be honest, I don't know what to do with uh, Kurt. Okay. Okay. Here's oh wow. Everything is okay on this side. No, it's not. Moving out. Not Yeah. Oh, everything is brass keep is a okay. Okay. Checking. We don't know. That means Delper is definitely one, and the only one being defended by chaos. We take Delper as the end. Okay. 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 I'm gonna, just gonna do this and this. Excellent. So, three thousand. Wow. Nice. Big cool. Okay, Wilhelm Gesker, 2665, man. <laughs> Alongside Rodrigo, mercenary captain, 1866 men. Attacking Ul the Big Hoof to 3081 horns. And General Lucas, 460 men. Uh, of course, that's it. This is the new bell. Let's take Underguard, attack the Brez, and finish this off.